One of the things about rainwater harvesting, it's, it's not a new type of uh, practice. It's been done for thousands of years, but it's regaining popularity because of the lack of uh, both rainwater and the groundwater. So a lot of people are going to uh, the rainwater systems to help save cash as far as water is concerned, and also to make sure that their wells don't go dry in the, in the late summer and fall. What we're going to do today is we're going to follow uh, the rainwater all the way from the roof into the tank or the collection device and then all the way through to where it helps in the garden. Hi Patty and Paul, what's, hey, what's going Claire. on over here? Oh hi Claire. We're just finishing up the, cleaning up the tank at the end of the year. Oh all right, all right, yeah pretty good sized tank we have here. Yep. Um, one of the things I have is I have a number of questions. We're going to, you know, have you take us through the entire system, show what's going on, and everything like that. But probably the first thing I need to ask is, is why did you put a tank this big uh, out here to uh, to collect water? Well, what happened is when we moved out here about five years ago, um, we had put in a, in an orchard about 40 trees, had a very large garden. And um, I was out beginning to start watering one morning, and lo and behold, the hose starts jumping. The well's dry. Oh, There's no water. Oh, no. Okay. So my heart jumps into my stomach in total panic, and so we, we explored it. And basically what we found is there's probably enough water in the well to do the household. Okay. And also, it would be very expensive to put in a, in a new well. Don't know how deep we'd have to go, any of those issues. And uh, we really believe in making as small an, um, a, a footprint on the earth as we can. Okay. And so we thought, rainwater harvesting, use what's freely available, you know, f uh, from Mother Nature. And so we decided that we would try to capture enough rainwater okay. um, in order to do the garden and the orchard. Okay. Okay, yeah, so there's the number one thing. Uh, the, the well runs out of water. You don't want to spend $25 a foot or more to put a new well, and you don't know how deep that well is going to be. It could be as much as six to 800 feet. And so you just have to do your math on that one versus putting in this system. One of the, one of the things that, uh, that we'd like to show today is this roof up here, as far as the amount of water that you'll find in a particular system. I'm going to pace off a 20 foot section and it goes something like this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And that's about 20 feet. Now if we did a square from Patty and Paul to me and a total square, the amount of rainfall that would fall on this particular section or a 20 by 20 foot section on that roof would be about four feet, anywhere from 48 to 60 inches here in the Oregon City in the in the Clackamas County area. That equi that's the equivalent to t over 12,000 gallons of water. In other words, it, 20 by 20 foot section on this roof would fill up that tank. So what we're going to do now is we've seen the tank, we've seen the roof, we're going to follow the water out and over to the garden. All right, we're up here on top of the tank. I think I'm about 10 feet off the ground. And uh, the roof's right here. We're going to collect our water. It's the middle roof. And then, uh, Paul, um, maybe you can describe what you've done here uh, with the water. OK, well, I put some screening over the guttering to keep the pine needles from the pine tree off and the leaves uh, from the walnut tree. And then the water collects. It comes down here, and then I have installed uh, a very simple uh, four inch pipe with some mosquito netting. Keeps the mosquitoes out, keeps the leaves out, and then the water goes down there in the tank. Mm. And uh, the, this roof actually could collect uh, two or three times every year, 12,000 gallons. Okay, and then you have it in the tank, and what's this tube? Okay. And then this is uh, when the out tube, this tube goes to the pump. So we have here a Ooh. a pipe that oops, oh, there we go. That ends up with a, a foot valve that uh, keeps the water from draining back into the tank. 
But okay. Okay, so it, it doesn't look like a really complicated system no, if you, when you get to doing it. Okay. Very simple. Water in and water out. Okay, and, and being that it's going out, let's go to the pump and see what the pump and the treasure tank are all about. Okay. All right, we've, uh, we're in here and we have the, the pump and the pressure tank and, um, and it looks sort of complicated, Paul. How, how did you put this together? Well, I was only able to do it because of uh, Fisher's uh, Plumbing Supply and Canby really designed it and put it together for me. Uh, this uh, is the tube that comes out of the tank and goes into the pump right here. And of course it's run by an electric motor and it pushes the water up and this is a pressure tank and then the water goes out uh, to the distribution valves out in the garden. Okay, okay. And I also see that you have a pipe or a, a hose up here and so you can drain things so the whole right. system is right. is drained because of yeah. freeze protection, that kind of thing? Right. You can, you can drain it for freeze protection because it freezes here in the barn and also this allows you to see if you have pressure sometimes okay. just by turning that okay. off. But everything's uh, all winter, you know, you can winterize it really easy and really drain easy. the whole system. Yeah. And that's a really important thing when you're putting in a system like this. Okay, well, let's, um, now that we're pumping it, let's go out to the garden and see where it does the most good. What you doing, Patty? Oh, hi. Um, I was just checking to make sure that the filter is not plugged as we uh -huh. close up the system for the winter. Uh -huh. uh, this is the filter, uh, the second filter on the system that keeps the uh, debris from going into the pipes and uh -huh. plugging up all the, um, the drip irrigation system. I was just showing Claire the pumping system and uh, we walked up from there and uh, this, is, this, this valve system here is uh, it's about 100 feet from the tank and the lines are buried underground below freezing level and uh, come up to these valves that distribute to the garden. Okay, okay. Now do you have to clean that out very much? Um, usually probably about once a month. Oh, okay. That when I okay. notice that the sprinklers are not really performing well then it's time to come and check the filter. That mm -hmm. The filter down at that we saw down at the barn really pretty well keeps most of the stuff out. Okay. But occasionally stuff gets in here and so you just it's very easy just to come and clean it out and the uh, system works perfectly then. Good, good. And then in this box next to us, all I see is pipes and valves and wires. <laughs> what do well, we have? Yeah, we have Okay, we've got, uh, these are the four basic junction boxes that we have one of the, um, of these goes to the orchard, one goes to the garden, and two of them go to the ornamentals. Oh, okay, so you have a more of a zone system. It's yeah. a zone system with different pressure. Okay. For the different systems. And then, okay, you have the zone system and then it goes out, and I would imagine that you have different kinds of delivery systems that actually out in the garden, like your drip systems and stuff like that? Correct. That we, we have three different kinds of systems that we found are effective. Oh. We have um, the tape system for the garden, okay. and then we have a laser system that goes around the trees in the orchard and around the shrubs. And then we also have another drip system that just sort of goes around some of the ornamentals, oh, and it wow. just drips right through. Now that's what I call efficiency. <laughs> it's really pretty good. It has worked really well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe we should go out and, and uh, take a look at the system. Well, Claire, this is one of the um, drip systems that we use. This is the tape system that we use for the berries and also in all of the garden. Okay, and and these, these all these are little just little drip things, and so it gets a totally even distribution of water as it goes down. Correct. The it totally soaks the roots. You can barely see it on top of the ground, but it soaks deep into the roots. Okay, and, and you only need about an inch a week in the garden. Oh, okay. Okay, and that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's really nice, and especially you get a good uh, uniform uh, application of the water. Correct. Good. Boy, I mean, these things are really efficient. I mean, it's just, Each row of plants has a, a drip okay. next to it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sounds good, and so uh, that's the drip, and now we are heading over to laser, you said? Yeah, yeah we have the, the laser next.